Yo, 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 what is going on? What is going on? What is going on? Somebody asked me to explain. I'm Terrell, Hall of Fame, D-Line, TBKC, and all that sweet, beautiful, wonderful shit. You asked me to explain, right? And some of you seen the picture that I put up of Mandela when he was a puppy and it blew y'all minds because y'all was like, what the? Yeah. And I, I, I'm going to find one. It's one of Gannicus that'll really blow y'all minds. Uh, Gannon man, when he was young, you know, I mean, he looked very very terrier y'all saw i think i put up the white the the uh which is actually his brother honestly um and you've seen the change of that uh of that dog compared to you like wow that's a huge difference well this is the thing and this is one of the key points of where you can tell some of the dogs who come from the original lines the original american bullies were pit bull staffy dogs so what happens is is that the puppies start off looking pit bull staffy ish you see it now some of them more than more than others and they and they blossom and they develop and i've told y'all this in a previous video to where if there, you go see king kamali remy uh hallie was that way paco was that way um Denzel was a little bit blockier, but definitely didn't look as bully as he would be at the uh, at the end of his life in his prime. Uh, then you look at, um, you know, I could I could show you Mandela. I could show you many, many dogs that came out very, very, very bully. But when it came down to it is they started off terrier. This is because we bred you know, terrier genetics and made them that pit bull on steroid type of look. This is also the reason why the dogs that I've named you were very, very healthy dogs. You know, these dogs lived long lives. These dogs were very healthy throughout their lives. We're not known for any kind of uh, health issues and their lines are not known for transmitting a bunch of health issues. Now, it's not to say that you can't have bully puppies and your bully puppies are not, you know what I'm saying, are, 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 are flawed in any kind of way. But the truth of the matter is, is that if the puppies look like bulldogs as a puppy, that's a red flag because there is no point in, in, in the... Um, in the maturation, I won't say evolution, but the matur maturation of this breed to where your dog should start off and they look like bulldogs. And from everything I've seen, when your dogs look like a bulldog as a young puppy, they fall apart by the time they're two or three years old. They don't clean up. At, with their growth they'll get bullier with their growth they don't you don't get a sloppy bulldog puppy or or even a, a clean looking bulldog puppy as a young age and they get better with age they typically grow and they get looser in skin their movements gets looser they fall apart one of the examples is a dog who has my blood and i'm pretty strong which is r.i.p warren g r.i.p for a reason you know what i mean and i'm not hating uh rest in peace to kino this is a fact that we know warren g was one of the cleanest uh puppies six month old puppies we had ever seen warren g uh include along with world star which was another dog that had my blood in it these were the two youngest puppies to ever champ out in the american bully uh history these dogs were at six months they were beating full-grown dogs they were bully they were clean they had everything go uh, uh go their way now the thing of it is is at that young age and i'm telling you this a six month pu old puppy should not be bully enough full enough to compete with full-grown dogs these were because of some of the genetics they had behind them that were obviously bulldog type genes by the time these dogs got to say a year and a half a lot of things started to change not only did the um well, let's just say over a year. Not only did the structure start to change, but the look started to change. They started to get more and more bulldog. Needless to say, and let's end this story, you know, on a sad note, both dogs died prematurely at very young ages, I believe under two years old. This is something that we take as red flags from phenotype and from lessons. It's not to hate. Like I say, I chose those two dogs in particular because they did have my blood in it. I don't hate on my own blood. You know, I just have to be truthful with what, uh, with what I tell you. If we're going to fix this breed, we have to acknowledge the fact of the origins of the breed. If you're going to pick good dogs, pick off of the genetics and the process and understand. Sometimes you'll look at a puppy and the puppy has very, very good structure. And now you have to use your imagination. You have to look at the parents and you say, you know what? I know the genetics it has. I know the history on these dogs. So I see what I see right now, but I understand the development of this breed. And some of these dogs are going to blossom and turn into absolute monsters, but they'll be a bigger, healthier monster. Now, if you fall in love with the idea that I'm going to have this super bully and I'm getting this fat puppy, be prepared to deal with the things that are going to come with that super bu bully uh, fat puppy. Because the truth of the matter is those dogs break down. I've been telling you this shit for years. It has not changed. Those dogs break down. You know what I mean? Period. They break down. 
it's it's a multitude of reasons that maybe we'll go into on, on a live or something like that because we'll need more time but bottom line those dogs are genetically defective they come with a lot of issues they and and, and structure wise casablanca another dog that has my blood in them that they decided to run some bulldog shit to if you see casablanca when he was around six months old very very clean nice dog shortly thereafter from six months to a year old he started to have a sway back his past turn started to get weaker his overall confirmation changed for whatever reason maybe it was the weight maybe it's just his funky ass genetics but the dog was basically not that nice by the time he was an adult and one of the reasons why we don't even talk about Casablanca at all and you don't see any older pictures of the dog is because he basically disintegrated I'm just giving y'all free game. I'm letting y'all know what time it is. Y'all can follow it or y'all or y'all don't. But I'm telling you, the, the healthy dog movement is in full effect. Dogs will start to be uh, judged on what they're supposed to be judged on and not people's hype. We will present the public with uh, factors that you can truly judge a dog on to tell you the quality of this dog and not just, oh, my friend said he's nice. You know, fuck that shit. We back on some real dog type things and it's, it's, we're going to take it to another level. Real dog man, real dog woman type things. But until next time, y'all, God bless y'all. See y'all soon. Much love. Peace.